Knock, knock. Oh, you're having dinner. Yeah, if you can call it that. Well, maybe I should come back later. No, Iola, come on over and sit down. We were just hearing the good news about your nomination. Oh, well, I, I still feel kind of funny about it. It was a total surprise. You weren't too surprised to accept it. Oh, hush now, Miss Harper. You had your time. Out with the old, in with the new. Yeah, I think Miss Boylan would make a great president. You do? Well, no question about it. The best ever. Yeah, just when did you quit grinding keys and become a political pundit? <laughs> you don't folks think anybody can be the president of the CLL? They didn't say anybody, Thelma. They said me. <laughs> After being your assistant for two years, I certainly know the job backwards and forwards. I am talking about more than a job. I'm talking about leadership, image, charisma. <laughs> That's you? Damn right. <laughs> insect world. There are worker bees and there are queen bees. I only, you are a worker, I am the queen. And what are we, mama? <laughs> You're the drones. <laughs> well, I may not have your charisma, your majesty, but you must admit I was very warmly applauded today. Well, sure, they applaud Miss Congeniality, but they give the crown to Miss America. <laughs> No, I got plenty of support. Yeah, well, it's all in your pantyhose. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I have Alberta Mitchum in my pocket, and she is a power broker in the CLL. Oh, yeah, well, I don't need Boss Mitchum because I got the rank and file behind me. Oh, here, I thought it was cellulite. <laughs> don't you talk about my figure. I've changed tires that weren't as flat as you. <laughs> Now, hold on. If you two keep this up, you might say something you're sorry for. That's right. You don't want to stand here and insult each other, do you? Hell no. I want to do it in public where it'll get me some votes. <laughs> I challenge you to a debate. Well, the challenge is accepted. Well, great, Squeaky. We'll just settle this next two 